What's up, devs? Hope everyone's doing well. Today, I wanted to talk about when is enough going to be enough? Okay, some of y'all are sick and tired of looking at what you see in the mirror. Your clothes aren't fitting as confident as you want. You don't have the energy. You're dealing with back pain, knee pain. And, you know, overall, you feel like your health is just deteriorating. You sit long hours. When is that going to be enough? When are you actually going to do something about that? Are you going to continue to wait until desperation kicks in? You know, the doctor tells you you have six months to live or you have this issue or you have this issue and then you want to take action. And then sometimes when that happens, it's too late. Do you want to wait until it's too late? Or do you want to start taking action so that you can live your better quality of life? That's my question for y'all. You know, I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, I got sick and tired of being skinny. I got sick and tired of being bullied. I got sick and tired of not being able to protect myself. So I had to make a change. I decided to make a change. You know, if I wasn't gonna make it, you know, who's gonna make it for me? So our success is truly dependent on ourselves, y'all. Our success is truly dependent on ourselves. So something that has really helped me is like, what amount of effort do I have to put in to make failure impossible? You know, who do I need to become in order to accomplish my goals? You know, y'all, you could change your focus by asking yourself questions, okay? You know, you could get happy right now if somebody asks you the right question or sends you the right text. You could get sad right now if somebody sends you the wrong text. So you just want to make sure that you're always asking yourself the right questions. You know, thinking about the person you want to become. Because when you do those things, you know, it makes it a lot easier to, you know, be successful. All right? So if y'all don't know about state control, I'm about to put y'all on. Okay, state control is pretty much anything. Okay, if you can master this, this is like the key to life. Okay, so there's different ways you can control your state. By state, I mean like mood. You can put yourself in a happy state. Put yourself in a sad state. Like there's different ways you can control your state. First way, it's physiology. So motion creates emotion. All right. So you could do some jumping jacks. You could smile, mirror for 60 seconds. Um, you could jump on a trampoline. You cannot jump on a trampoline and not smile. You know, prove it to me. Okay, it's it's fun. Okay, those are different ways you could control your state. The next thing you could do is your environment. So there's two components to this or two subcategories. One is people, another one is places. So when it comes to people, you got positive people, you got negative people. You hang around positive people, you're going to be more positive. All right? If you hang around negative people, you're going to be negative. Okay? And the second component is your environment. Like, go for a walk. Like, how am I doing here? You know, go to a coffee shop, go to a pool, change your environment. When you do these things, um, your life becomes a lot better. All right? Another thing is your focus. Like I said, you know, what you focus on is what you feel at the time. So, you know, ask it like, you know, what, when was there a time where you spent some quality time with somebody and it was a really great time? So I'm changing your focus with that. Now think about a time you spent with someone that's no longer here. You know, what was that like to, to experience them, you know, leaving this world? So from there, have you, you know, change, change your focus. So you can control your state, you can control whatever you want to control in life for the most part. Okay, there are some things that are out of our control. However, focus on what you can control. Don't focus on anything you can't control. All right? Um, and yeah, y'all, pretty much that's what I wanted to hop on here, you know. Some of y'all say y'all don't have time. I don't know what to do when it comes to working out. I don't know how to eat healthy as, you know, a deskbound pro or a software developer. You know, it's not that y'all don't know. It's not, it's, you just don't know how to put it together. All the resources are there on the, the web, y'all. Anything you pretty much want to learn, you can learn in abundance for free. The thing people struggle with, 
is knowing how to put it together. And that's why accountability is a life hack. And if you would like to learn more about getting to that 3.0 version of yourself, click the link below and I'll see if we're a good fit for a free fitness audit where I'll give you tips and a guide and things of that nature. So if you have any questions, let me know.